Good day. Good to see you here at Dr. Wonder's workshop. You like our new elevator? Yes, me too. Today, you'll see many, many new things here. Sometimes change is cool. Sometimes it's challenging. But change is important for growing. Today, watch for new things and watch for these signs. Can't, can't, teach, teach, scared, scared. Are you ready? Here we go. There's a special place I know where I always love to go. Come with me, I'll take you there. Dr. Wonder's workshop. Dr. Wonder and his crew have a big surprise for you. They can talk with just their hands. Dr. Wonder's workshop. Come and see. This amazing place for you and me. You will see things you want to grab in this great inventor's land. You may never want to leave. Dr. Wonder's workshop. Just a minute. Hello. How are you? Nice to see you again. I've really missed you. Have I got some news to tell you? You remember Billy? Well, he has decided to go back to college and get an advanced degree in electrical engineering. That's his goal. You know, he always wanted to start his own lab someday. Well, that degree will help him reach his goal. Yes, I, I know we'll miss him. I will miss him too. But we're all excited that he's following his dreams and his goals. Oh, hi, Lisa. Hi. I was just telling them about Billy going back to college. Yes, we'll all miss not seeing Billy around here. But we are excited for him because he's looking for new advanced learning experiences and trying something new and different. It's really wonderful. Uh, I just thought of something. You know, the inventors have mm -hmm. a big conference. Well, oh. they have asked me to make a presentation oh. on Dr. Wonder's workshop and how things oh. are progressing since we set up the business. I was thinking that you should really be giving the presentation. You know about this business. You should be the one to go to the conference. Me? Oh, you must be teasing. No, I'm serious. You can. With your experience in accounting and then progressing up to office manager, you know how the business oh. runs. I think it would be good for you to go and to present for us there. Um, me? Speak in front of a large crowd of brilliant inventors? I've never presented before. I've never presented before. <laughs> you give presentations to the staff here all the time. And we're all inventors. It is the same. That's very, very different. I know all of you, so I feel comfortable. I won't know any of them. I don't think I'd be any good at presenting. No, no, no. Okay. If you're not comfortable with it, I thought I could get you to go, but okay. I will go and present about our business here. Great. Thanks. Wonderful. Oh, this paper's for you. Okay, gotta go. Thank you. Hi, Pops. Oh, hi. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Great, great, that's good, great. Uh, hey, uh, uh, I miss Billy. Uh, mm. Now that he's gone. Yeah. Me too. Hmm. You know, I think it's great that Billy's gone back to college to get an advanced degree. Yes, yes, I agree. Hmm. So, anyway, are you ready for the computer lessons? See what I brought. Uh... 
Well, uh, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Close call. Sorry. It's a fine. Uh, yeah. um, glasses. Uh, huh? Glasses. I, I I can't see without uh, my glasses. Uh, hey, wait, oh, no, hey, where are my glasses? Hey. Um, oh, 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 they're broken. They're broken. Yeah, I, I can't see without my glasses. They're broken. Oh, where's Pops? Oh, I'm here. Hey. Hey. Oh, Dr. Wonder. Doctor, he'll know what to do. I'll go to Dr. Wonder now. Just a minute, I need hey, my glasses. Uh, Where are my glasses? Hey. Oh. Thank Dr. Wonder. Mm -hmm. I gotta go find Dr. Wonder. Dr. Oh, 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 ow. Oh. Ow. 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 I gotta go find Dr. Wonder. Oh. Oh. Dr. Wonder. Oh, Dr. Hey, Wonder. Hey. Uh, hey. Uh, you can't see. Uh. In the future, I can become a college professor. What do I want to become in the future? Hmm, I can become a person who gives speeches. Or in the future, I could do many things. I haven't decided yet. I want to become um, mm, a doctor or a teacher. me standing up at the front of a room talking to all those scientists and inventors all gathered for the scientist convention they all have PhD degrees what can I teach them I can't present oh you're silly you're just as smart as any of those scientists you are 
Do you think any of them have a comprehensive knowledge on how to run a business? No, they can't. You're way more knowledgeable than them. You could teach about budgets, finance, and contracts. They would learn so much. You could present and explain it. They would just fall over in their chairs. You can teach. You well. can. Yes, but... Dr. Wonder! What? Where's Dr. Oh, Wonder? Paula! Paula! Paula. Look! Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, oh, hi, Dr. Wonder! Oh, I'm not Dr. Wonder, I'm Paula! You're silly! Look, look, he doesn't have his glasses, they're broken! Obviously, he can't see. Sign in his hands. He thinks you're Dr. Wonder. He's confused. I'm not Dr. Wonder. I'm Paula. See my hair? Huh? What? Um, what happened to your glasses? Are you all right? Oh, what happened to my glasses? Well, I was teaching Pops, and I sneezed really hard, and they flew off and broke. Oh. oh. See? Oh. I need to see Dr. Wonder. Where is he? Oh, oh, Dr. Wonder is over there. I'll help you find Dr. Wonder. Sure. We'll talk about this some more later. Okay, okay, sure. I'll clean up this stuff. Oh, oh, his glasses. Oh, oh no. I'm sorry. Just go on. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh come on. Oh, here. Just go on. Come on. Bye bye. Go on. Bye bye. Come on. Oh, my. Look at this mess. Oh. Dr. Wonder! Uh, Dr. Wonder, where are you? Oh! 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 Dr. Wonder! Dr. Wonder! Okay, come on, uh. over here. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Dr. Wonder, oh. where is he? Oh. Over here? Oh, Dr. Wonder! What's going on? Just a minute. Oh, Wonder! What? Okay, Dr. Wonder's over here. I'm here, oh, hi, I'm Doc. here. Oh, oh, Paula! Ow. I'll take it from here. Doc, oh. Doc! Edwin, 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 Edwin! My glasses! Uh, it, it's me, Dr. Wonder, not her. I'm Dr. Wonder. Oh, uh, uh, your, your glasses fell. <laughs> Yikes! Ow, ow, ow! ow. Whoa! Oh. Ouch! Oh. Dr. Oh. Wonder, where'd Edwin. you go? Edwin! Oh, hello. I have a story for you from a First Samuel chapter 17, the story of a David and the giant Goliath. The Philistines and the Israelites were at war. They had been fighting for a long time. The Philistines brought in Goliath, who was over 10 feet tall. Even his armor weighed 125 pounds. He mocked all of Israel and said, send out someone to fight me. If I kill him, then Israel will come under the Philistines. But if your champion kills me, we will come under Israel. David went to King Saul after the announcement went out for a volunteer. All of Israel was terrified. David said he would fight. God was with me when I killed a lion and a bear. I know I can fight a Goliath. So King Saul sent David out. David had his slingshot. He picked up five small stones. The two approached each other. Goliath laughed at how small David was. David answered, With the Lord of Israel, with me, I will kill you, and I will cut off your head. David put a stone in his slingshot and began to swing it in the air. At the sight, the Goliath laughed. David let the rock fly. It sailed through the air and landed in the middle of Goliath's forehead. Goliath staggered and fell to the ground, and the earth shook. David ran over to his body and took Goliath's sword and cut his head off. David held his head up for all to see. Israel had won. 
The Philistines were frightened and they all ran away. How amazing. In the same way, if you and I depend on God through Christ Jesus, we can have victory through Christ Jesus. He's always with us. We can depend on God. Wow, yes. Hi there! You see all this? I have a lot to do. It's important to work hard at school, at home, at your job. Hard work is a good thing, but some people think hard work will get you to heaven. Like giving money to poor people, or obeying mom and dad, being nice to people, being friendly, and, and helping others, or doing more good things. People think that that will get them to heaven, but that's not right. First, we have to ask Jesus into our lives. Then you'll want to do good things. You'll want to serve God, and you'll want to help other people. Because in your heart you will want to, not because you have to. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9, Before he made the world, or people, he already saved us. How? Through grace, love, and mercy, through his Son, Jesus Christ. You don't have to work hard to get to heaven. Yeah, Jesus really loves you and wants a relationship with you. You don't have to impress him. He already knows everything about you, the good, the bad, it doesn't matter. But the point is, hard work won't get you to heaven. Getting to heaven is simple. Two things. First, believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And second, ask him to forgive all your mistakes. And he will. John 3, 16 says, God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, for whoever believes in him will not die but have everlasting life. So remember, believing in Jesus is the most important. In the future, I want to become, oh, that's a good question. I want to become a gymnastics teacher and teach kids how to do different gymnastics moves so they can become skilled. Yeah, teaching. What can I become in the future? I'd like to become a professional football player. Yeah. I can become a teacher.
for Edwin. Oh. I'm looking for Edwin. I have these glasses for him. His glasses broke. I went to his old desk and looked around and found these. I thought, perfect, he can use these while his other glasses are getting fixed. I've been looking for him, but I can't find him. Uh, well, Dr. Wonder, he took Edwin to the optometrist uh, to fix oh. his glasses. Obviously, he won't need these. Whatever. I see you're working on something. What are you working on? Uh, well, I'm really struggling to try and understand this program. Uh, Edwin was going to teach me, but then his glasses broke. Uh, I mm. don't understand it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to help a Carlo at mm -hmm. the Finger Food Cafe. Mm. But it's too complicated. Oh, you're silly. That's not complicated. I noticed you pulling your hair out and getting frustrated. Calm down. Think of it like those boxes you've put together with hundreds of gears and wires. Those are very complicated, but you figure them out. You're an expert at that. Well, the computer's the same kind of thing. You just have to figure out how things go together. You'll be fine. I can help you. Uh, fine. Here. Let me look. Mm, perfect. <laughs> huh? uh, hey, what are you smiling about? Because I fixed it. And you can surprise Carlo. Oh, no. I can't. Edwin's glasses are broken. He needs it to teach me. Oh, I'll help you. I'll teach you. You're silly. I'll show you. You want oh, me to fine, teach you? Fine. Okay, so move here. Now this. Yes, that's good. Mm. What you want uh -huh. to do is to click mm. on that button right here. Yeah. See it flashing? Now total uh -huh. it up. Now total it up. Okay. Total it up. Yes. Mm. Now return, return, yeah. return. See? <laughs> See, you can. Yes. It's easy. It's important that you don't get scared. Stop thinking yes. of it as something new, but think of it as an invention you want to put together. It's just the same thing, okay? Yes. Just Thank take a deep you. breath. Yes. Let me fix your hair. Uh, fine. There. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> you are a good teacher. Oh, it's nothing. You're silly. <laughs> Hi, hello, hello, Hi. hello. Mm, take a look at these, huh? Slim, trim, a little chrome, a little polish. Oh, my glasses are fixed. Yay. Wonderful. Now I can see trees, I can see the sun, I can see everything clearly. Good. Huh. Huh. Yeah. And now I'm ready to teach your computer lesson, Pops. Well, Elisa already taught me, and uh, now I know uh, I understand the process, uh, but thank you. Oh, well, Lisa's a wonderful uh -huh. teacher. Mm -hmm. Before I started working here, I was really awkward about doing accounting for an inventor's workshop, but Lisa taught me everything I needed to know, and now I understand how. Oh, Edwin, you're a wonderful accountant. I love working with you. You're really cool. Doing the books for a lab is just the same as for any business, but you're the best. Oh, shucks. I was really nervous. And then you explained everything so smoothly since it was second nature to you. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I didn't remember that. That has me thinking. Working with you and now Pops, I need to reevaluate my thinking. I need to talk to Dr. Wonder about something. Excuse me, I have to talk with Dr. Wonder. Have fun. Later. Later. Bye. So, Pops. Doc, I've been thinking about it, and I've decided I'll go ahead and do that presentation at the Inventors Conference. Oh, really? 
I'm curious. Uh, what changed your mind? Well, I was scared and nervous about the idea of speaking to a large group of people, all of them staring at me. I was really nervous and scared. Then I thought they need to learn something new. I have a lot of experience that I could share with them about managing a business. So I think I'll go ahead. I think I can. That's really good. You know, it's okay to be nervous. Everybody gets nervous when they present. And most people get nervous talking in public. I know I do. You? Get nervous? You've presented many times. You're an expert. But you get nervous? Every time. But you get used to it, and you just go ahead and present. It's worth it. I won't allow being nervous to stop me from presenting. That's right. I think I'd better go and start planning out my presentation and get ready. Good. I'm happy you will present. <laughs> wow. What an interesting day. Did you see how all the things happened? Edwin broke his glasses. Sorry, that happened. He couldn't see and he stumbled around. But it gave Lisa a chance to try her hand at being a teacher. Looks like she did a good job. Pops was really struggling with that computer program, but now he seems to understand it better. And both she and Pops have new confidence. Wow! It just goes to show that you never know just what you can accomplish until you try. It's important to really give it your best and try. But if you're afraid to try, well, then it's impossible to succeed. It's so important to keep a positive attitude. Think, I can, I can. Yes, you can. <laughs> Thanks for visiting in Dr. Wonder's workshop today. Come back soon. See you later. Bye.